It is the 7th of September 2021 and we're here today in Amsterdam because according to National Geographic magazine, in Amsterdam, tram line number two is among the top 10 most scenic tram lines you can do in the world. But the motivation as to why is a bit lacking. So today I'm taking you on a ride along tram line two and show you some interesting facts of the line. Thank you for joining and let's begin our trip. In 2010, National Geographic published this top 10 list in their magazine and website. If you scroll down, you can read that the reason why tram line number two made it in the list because it passes by many tourist attractions. Pretty underwhelming, right? If that's their main reason, then the old tram line 5 would also count for today's line 12. They pass by the same tourist attractions that National Geographic sums up here. Anyways, time to board the tram and show you guys some interesting things besides the top attractions. First stop. The Dom. We're here at the dam stop, or dam, whatever you prefer, and behind me is the main post office, opened in 1899, and in 1987, it got sold to a Swedish investment company and turned it to, into a modern, luxurious shopping mall. However, in 2010, it began to decline, and it became a little bit sad, but let's have a look inside. The shopping mall is known as Magna Plaza, and the tram stop is right in front of it. You notice that the upper levels are quite eerie. On the first floor are only two tenants left and this has already been going on long before Covid. And on the second floor has only the toilets, which are ridiculously expensive by the way for one euro visit. The new post office was moved to the street behind at the single, the basement level, best downgrade ever. Also it closed down in April 2021 with no new location. Only the two orange post boxes remind people that there was once a post office here. Nowadays, it is more common to head to your local supermarket or bookshop for postal service. And we're here at the stop Keizersgracht at the Leidsestraat. It's actually my favorite part of the tram line, but the tram crosses right through a shopping street here. And people have to watch out when they cross over to the other side of the shops. It is only here where you have to watch out for trends when buying new clothes. And there isn't any other place in the world where I know where this is like a similar situation. The track through the Leidsestraat features a single track or gauntlet tracks if you want to use the correct term for it. Tracks on single sections are interlaced with each other so that it saves space and switches. Trams can only pass each other on the stops that are located on bridges around the canal. The next stop will be the famous Museum Square. Museumplein. At the stop Museumplein or the famous Museum Square, you have of course the Rijksmuseum behind me. But what most people don't know is that the Rijksmuseum has this little garden here. This secret garden of the Rijksmuseum is only open during the summer months. It houses a nice cafe and you can enjoy some time in peace before continuing your sightseeing. The only reason why I would call this a secret is because the entrance is poorly marked. Let's head back to the tram and travel westwards. Amstelveenseweg We are here at the stop Amstelveenseweg and it is the only stop left in Amsterdam where you have to walk on the road to board the tram. You can forget about step free access here if you are in a wheelchair and also be aware of cars when attempting to board the tram. Well, on second thought you should worry more about bikes than cars actually. Walk southwards along the Amstelveenseweg and you'll find a hidden tourist attraction, which not a lot of people seem to know despite being many hotels in the area. A short walk from here and you have the Haarlem Meer station, a former train station here in the south of Amsterdam. Nowadays, you'll find a heritage tram line here where you can take a tram to the neighboring city of Amstelveen from spring to autumn. If you want to catch a ride, they usually operate on every Sunday 
and during the summer months, there is also a city tour available in a vintage tram. A nice thing to do when you have already taken a boat tour along the canal. The line further down the route isn't really touristy anymore, but there is still something worth to see. After the stop, hope to a plane, you can bet that you will be the only tourist on board. Let's head on board to New Sloten. At the stop Johan Huizinghalaan, you will see the now abandoned Slotervaart Hospital. It went bankrupt in 2018, but since Covid, some portions of the building are turned into a Covid testing facility. You will notice that we are really in the suburbs of Amsterdam. Modern buildings and wide roads. It just looks like any ordinary city in the Netherlands. We have now arrived at our terminal stop. And we are here now at the terminus stop of Tramline 2 in New Sloten. And you might be thinking, New Sloten, so where is Old Sloten? Old Sloten was a village not so far from here. And you can actually visit it nowadays because the, the old village of Sloten was surrounded by the city of Amsterdam due to urbanization. But it was never demolished by greedy landlords or real estate developments. So let's have a look at the old village of Sloten, which is just around the corner here from the terminus of Tramline 2. The old village of Sloten is nowadays part of the city of Amsterdam and lies just a 5 minute walk southwards from the terminus of Tramline 2. And walking down the main street, you'll get that typical Dutch village vibe. Small churches, cute houses and narrow streets. Everything here is more relaxed and laid back than in a bustling city, the perfect place to wander around. Here now at the Sloterweg, this is the old road leading to Amsterdam up until 1970-1980 and it ends now abruptly in the T-crossing because of the expansion of the A10 motorway and the railway line later on in the 90s. Interestingly enough, there is still a bus stop here. Up until 2015, there was a bus going to the city centre of Amsterdam from Hoofddorp passing through the old village of Sloten. Today it is served by a bus going to Schiphol Airport, which is actually very close from here. Hope you've liked this trip with tramline number 2 from Amsterdam Central to New Sloten. And thank you so much for joining and coming along. Take care guys and we'll see each other in the next video.